Hey guys, T City Full Clean, um, T City Full Clean LLC. Just giving you guys an overview of my um, uh, mobile detailing trailer. Here it is. As you can see, it's small. It's small, and that's what I was going for when I was designing it. I wanted something small where I can get in and out of um, small parking lots and driveways um, for going to people's jobs. And especially for people that live in um, apartment complexes, you know, most people that live in apartment complexes have one or two parking spaces and I couldn't get in with a big long trailer with a 250 gallon tank or a long bed truck or a big van. So this trailer is four by six and I pull it with my little small Volkswagen GTI and it's I can get into pretty much any parking space, any driveway, um, especially I'm able to break my trailer loose from the car and I can move the trailer around with my hand. It's real, real simple. And and I wanted something small when I was designing the trailer or the um, business in my mind. Um, every part of this trailer I designed. <clears throat> I'm starting out with this 55 gallon drum using it as a water supply like i said holds 55 gallons i'm able to do about seven cars um, on a full um, tank i put a spigot um in this in this bone hole here this is on this this one here is only for releasing air or letting air get in the barrel and this bone hole here came out with three quarter inch pvc onto a three quarter inch valve connected to um, clear flex holes and I got the flex holes connected to a transfer pump to a splitter to my pressure washer on one end of the splitter and to a garden hose on the other end so I can shut my pressure washer off if I wanted to open my garden hose to fill my buckets shut the garden hose off open my tr um, pressure washer to wash the cars use this pr transfer pump because it pulls water out of the barrel as you can see the transfer pump and the um, electric pressure washer sits significantly lower than water supply so gravity takes over from here to here and once the water reaches here it actually starts sucking the water out and forcing forcing the water into the pressure washer or out to the garden hose and if I lift the gate I'm trying to lift the gate lift the gate it locks with these pins right here got one pin on each side pin over here too Trying to do this with one hand, y'all. There we go. And once it locks, now I'm ready to travel. And uh, as you can see, when I lift the gate up, the pressure washer is completely out of the way. It takes up absolutely no space on the um, trailer. When I bought the pressure washer, it came on a stand with wheels and I took it apart and I bolted it to the gate as you can see I bolted it with some long bolts they're about three inches long about four of them and I bolted it with the long bolts just in case someone got a good idea to steal my pressure washer they'll have an awful lot of unscrewing to do before they was able to get it out. And hopefully I'll be coming out of the store before they got it loose. Um, so yeah. And on the front I got a Harbor Freight toolbox, a little cheap toolbox. I paid about $80 for it. And I got all my, I got my polishers in there. Some, um, some extension cores and some air hoses um, and my, my 
Harbor Freight's brand new um, compressor. My last compressor went out yesterday and it costed me a full day today because I cannot detail a car without a compressor. And I had a job to do today, Sunday, I think it was March 16th, at 10.30 a.m. I had to call and cancel it because my compressor went out yesterday. So not only did I have to spend money today, um, I lost money on top of that. And last but not least is my generator. Generator have very few hours on it. Um, I bought it about four years ago, five years ago, something like that. We bought it to get getting ready for a storm and we never used it. So I had it in storage. It has less than a hundred hours on it actually. Um, I painted it this color because I didn't want a brand new shiny generator on the back of an open trailer and give anybody any good ideas about stealing my stuff. But as you can see, I have it bolted down pretty good. I got a big U-lock on it right here. I have a big U-lock on it right here. And I also have a cable lock on it. Um, but the idea for this trailer is to get rid of this generator and buy a couple of inverters along with the battery bank and some solar panels. And that's gonna be probably within the next year I'm gonna do all of that. Mount um, some solar panels on the top of my car and so they can charge a, I'm gonna have a battery bank of about four or five batteries in a toolbox. It'll probably be over here where the generator is because this will be gone then. And with um, two or three inverters and that way, I'll be a green company and I'll be doing my part to save the planet. And I'll be able, be able to advertise as a green planet. I mean, uh, excuse me, a, a green company. Because this generator um, is loud for one thing, and I hate that. And um, it's a polluter. So, and I'm conscious about that. I don't want to pollute the earth with what I got going on. I'm doing enough of that with my car, so if I can do my part, save the planet, um, I think I can do that. So yeah, this is my my rig, my little small, uh, my mobile detailing trailer, and I have everything that I need. I even have um, a little step ladder for doing SUVs so I can look on top of it. I'm not a shade tree car detailer. I'm a real detailer. Um, so, T-City Full Cleaning. LLC, y'all hit me up. I'm out.